Australians live down under. Like flies on the ceiling, they never fall off. Of course, they see themselves like this, and this, and this. They're a nation of sportsmen. block. These they call schooners. These they call sheilas or beard swords. And this... Molly, don't take on too many jokes. And this they call English. They're a weird mob. Bloody wrong. In this man's country, a man doesn't dream in the sun. There are many manly things that must be done. A man's got to prove he's a man, and you can in this land that is shiny and new. So short and your shorts, bear your chest, get a tan, catch a fish, paint a boat, build a barbecue, a king-sized barbecue. shrivels up in the heat Cos it's a man's country, sweetheart Marching forward with mighty strides Cos it's a man's country, sweetheart From the chain marks on its ankles Right up to its short back and sides Carlotta, sports editor and part proprietor a magazine called La Seconda Madre. Second Mother? You? Eh? I, I mean, you're Australian. Your country is our Seconda Madre because gives us work, uh, accepts our immigrants. In Sydney? Yes, in Sydney. You see, La Seconda Madre is a, is a, is a new magazine for Italian people here in uh, Australia. See, this is the, a girl is the daughter of La Seconda Madre, is Italian girl in Australia. It's a good magazine. It's a sports section and it's... The, the I've never heard of it. It, it is the letter, uh, my letter of invitation that my cousin Leonardo sent me, you see? It's my contract, a regular contract. See, uh, my cousin Leonardo is waiting for me. Address in Sydney? Uh, he fixed for me a room. I have a room already in a Hampton Court Hotel until I find a suitable ap apartment, apartamento. Fair enough. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, excuse me, my cousin, cousin Leonardo's letter is a country guy. <laughs> Where are you going? I, I have a room, sir, here in Sydney. At the Hampton Court Hotel, my cousin Leonardo fixed it a month ago. And he has written me, he would be here to wait for me, but it's just four hours I'm waiting well, for Why don't you go? You can't wait here all day. Yes. I know, but no, my no. cousin Leonardo...
Hop in. Where to? Across. Cause it's a man's country, sweetheart. Marching forward with mighty strides. Yes, it's a man's country, sweetheart. From the chain box on its ankles. Right up to its short back and side. Three Bob. Oh, uh, please, do you mind using me the courtesy of telling me where now I am? The cross, three Bob. Yes, thank you, sir, but I, I wish to know where I, I am now. King's bloody cross. Thank you, but I wish to go at the Hampton Court Hotel, and I'm not deaf in my ears. Well, you must be blind in the eyes, mate. What do you think that is? When was the reservation made? More than six weeks ago. By Mr. Leonardo Colotto, my cousin, the publisher of La Seconda Madre magazine, you know? Well, I can't find it on our records. And we are full, I'm afraid. It's the test. The test? You've just uh, arrived, sir? Yes, and I missed my cousin at the quay. At the, the quay, the key, the, the, key, the ship. Uh, Colotto. Uh, mm. No, 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 if you like. Well, you could give your room, sir, just for one night. It's the test, you see. Test? I have to pass a test to have a room? I got my vaccination. Test match. Cricket? Oh, cricket. No, no, sir. Cricket. England versus Australia. Sydney's full. Shall we show him? You bowl, I'll bat. I'm better at that. Four oh nine, please. Oh, I understand. Is is your uh, national sport? One of them. Will you take the room, sir? Yes. Uh, if my cousin Leonardo uh, is looking for me, he will ask here in, in this hotel. <laughs> What is happening here? You talking to me? I'm looking for Mr. Leonardo Culotto, the publisher. I'm his cousin Nino, and I'm part proprietor of this magazine. Hey, Sid! Come here, Sid! This bloke reckons he's part owner of the rag. Please, what, what, what this bloke and what means the rag? The owner? Yes? Prove it. Oh, I can... Oh, here. It's in sport. Here, you see? Football. Inter Milan. Here, my name. I wrote it. I'm sport editor and part proprietor of the magazine. How long have you been in Sydney? I arrived this morning with the Italian ship Galileo Galilei, and I'm trying to contact my cousin in Atlas. Hello, Beryl. Sid, is the boss there? There's a bloke that he says he's the owner. Not part owner. Uh, part owner. Yeah. Yeah, and I die. Just got in by boat. I'm looking for the other one. Well, I reckon if we can't catch the original owner, a part owner's better than nothing. Hey, all right, Beryl. Well, I'll him. The boss will be down in a jiff. You're Mr. Colotta? I'm pleased to meet you. Another Colotta. And you're a partner in this crook outfit? This crook, please. This is crook. To start a weekly without having the slightest idea how is crook. Leaving the country without saying a word to anyone is crook. My cousin left the country, why? <laughs> What's so funny? I want to talk to you. Now then, my name is... Oh, thanks, mate. Herman, what's the last figure on the Colotta account? 
and all the unpaid rent. So the total is 792 pounds, 13 and six, thanks. And as well as that 792 pounds, 13 and sixpence, I personally lent your cousin 232 pounds. Miss Kelly, I, I have no knowledge of this. I haven't used any of this money for personal purposes, and I, I've brought any money with me. How did you get here? I walked. From Italy? Yes. Oh, no, from the hotel. They had them called until it, this office. You want me to believe that you stay there and you have no more than about 26 pounds in Italian money? Please, Miss Kelly, really, I have only 30,000 Italian lira, and I, I'm, I'm going to move right away from that hotel. I come by ship from Naples to Sydney. And I, I, I swear I didn't know that my cousin Leonardo had borrowed some money from a lady. How much did your fare cost? Uh, 322,000 Italian lira. That makes about uh, 232 pounds. And who paid for your ticket? My cousin Leonardo. But, but, but this is customary that when you engage somebody, you pay his fare. And I think it's the same customary here in, in Australia. It is not customary to borrow it. Not in Australia, and certainly not for me anyway. Oh, I'm sorry. How did I know? You know now. Well? Pull me through to Tim. Tell him it's about Carlotta and ejecting the magazine people. I've got Carlotta here. No, no, not Leo Carlotta. It's, uh, what's your name? Nino. Nino? Yes, I'm baptized Giovanni, like English John. Well, Giovannino is <clears throat> like Johnny and Nino is a shorter way to say... Giovanni. G-I-O-V-A-N-I. -I. Well, double N. Double N-I. Double N -I. Got that? I'll be in touch with him later. Goodbye, Mr. Giovanni Colotta. Giovanni... Giovanni Colotta. Oh. Uh, Miss Kay, I, I will pay you back for my ticket. I get um, another employment in another newspaper. With your English? What is wrong with my English? You'll find out. I have been a, new, a newspaper man all my life, and I can't start to learn a new career now. Mr. Collotta, when my father arrived in Australia, he took the first job offered to him, bricklaying. Now he's one of the three leading builders in Sydney. You know what he was before? Sergeant in the Royal Irish Constabulary. And his father was a sergeant too. And so is his daughter. You are impertinent. <laughs> hey! You want to stick around, mate? She might put you on the pie roll. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sid. Ciao! Ciao! <laughs> <laughs> Please, I, I wish to drink some beer. A schooner or a midi? Um, if, if, if you please, I wish to drink some beer. A schooner or a midi? How long have you been in Australia, mate? Oh, I just arrived today, sir. Oh, that explains it. These big glasses are called schooners and the small ones are middies. Oh, thank you. Schooner or midi? I, I wish to have a midi. Have one with me. Thank you. Two spoons, thanks, would, Jean. I, I, I would be extremely delighted to accept your kind invitation. Where do you come from? I am an Italian. Are you? Big bloke like you. You don't look it. Uh, please, what means this big bloke? Uh, well, everyone's a bloke. You're a bloke. I'm a bloke. We're all blokes. Oh, cheers. Uh, cheers. Mm. Tasted Australian beer before? No, is this the first time? Best beer in the world. Mm. Puts a gut on you, though. <laughs> what do you do for a crust? 
I'm sorry, sir, but I, I didn't understand. How do you earn your living? Oh, I'm a writer. In Italian? Yes, in Italian. Well, your turn. Please, what, what, what means my turn? Your turn to shout. Why, why I should shout? Because I shouted you. I'm sorry, I, I didn't hear you shout, me. Well, when a bloke buys your beer, it's called a shout, see? Now I shouted you, now it's your turn to shout for me. Oh, I'm sorry, but I think I do not wish to drink another beer. Now listen, in this country, if you want to keep out of trouble, you always return a shout, see? Oh, is this a custom? Bloody oath it's the custom, your shout. All right, but uh, excuse me, sir, it would be offensive for your uh, uh, susceptibility if I buy a drink for you and night. Don't buy another drink for me. That's the worst insult you can give a man. Gene, I, I wish to shout. <laughs> what do you do for your crust? Me? I do shift work down that. Hey, <laughs> did you hear what he said? Cheers. Cheers. Just a minute. Uh, excuse me. Could you tell me how to get to TCN Channel 9 uh, at Willoughby from here? Oh, I, I beg your pardon. Um, channel... Uh, channel Channel 9. Uh, no, I know. Uh, channel 9. Hey! You're Graham Kennedy, aren't you? Yes. Well, keep going that way another 2,000 miles, you'll wind up in Cape York. Good place for you. Uh, are you a Sydneyite? Yeah. I thought so. You're a weird mob up here. You don't appreciate art. Bloody weird mob in Melbourne if they keep watching you on TV. Beg your pardon, but Skip I... It. What it means? Means ring them after five o'clock. Oh, thank you. Uh, you a builder's labourer? No, I'm not, but I can try to be. You know, it's written here. Experience not necessary. I'm not writing the score. Well, what it what it means? Ah, oh, look, Spot, get lost, will you? You're through, Mr. Collado. Go ahead, please. Good evening. Do you want to speak to Joe? Is it Joe who advertises for a builder's laborer? Oh, yes, just a minute. Joe! Hello? You ringing about that job? Uh, yes, please. New Australian, are you? Uh, I'm Italian, Mr. Joe. Don't make no difference to me, mate, as long as you can do the job. Uh, I have not the experience, sir, but I am big and strong. You'll want to be, mate. It's hard yak and digging foundations. Where are you living? Uh, I'm staying at the Hampton Court Hotel in King's Bloody Cross. Oh, do you want to get out of there, mate? You'll go broke staying there. How long you been there? I arrived from Italy today. <laughs> Don't waste any time, do you? How are you off for togs? Uh, I do not understand. Work and togs. I beg your pardon, Mr. Joe. Working clothes. Oh, oh thank you. Thank you very much. OK, I'll give you a go, mate. Uh, I don't understand. You've got the job, mate. Be here about seven in the morning. Uh, where do I have to come, please? Punch bowl. Oh, punch bowl. Uh, and, and where is that, please? You have to get up to the train at the town hall. That's right, mate. When you get to the station, turn right. Nah, no, you wouldn't know how to nut it out. Look, why don't you just meet him at the station and latch on to him yourself? OK, mate, I'll meet you. Be at Punchbowl Station by seven and I'll be there with the truck.
Italia mia, un di ti rivedrò. You and Nino? Yes, I'm Nino. I was... Oh, uh, you Mr. Joe? Cut the Mr. Matey. How you going, mate? All right? Uh, yes, I'm very delighted to meet you. Okay, let's get cracking. The truck's over here. This is it. Where you been? I had to pick up your new mate, mate. How you going, mate? All right? Yeah, mate. How are you going? All right? All right, mate. Nino, this is Pat. Pat, Nino. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? All right, mate. Oh, I've got to go and see about that metal stuff and tee up the mixer. How long do you reckon, Pat? A couple of days? Are you going to help? No, matey. I've got to finish up that other job. Three days. All right, well, uh, four on Wednesday, OK? OK, mate. Come and get the gear out of the truck. Where are your togs, Nino? I had no time to buy working togs. I can't take off my jacket. Oh, that might be an idea. What do you reckon, Pat? No, no. We can't have him taken off his coat. Nor his tie, either. The neighbours would think we're a lot of common workmen. Could he take off his hat? Yeah. Yeah, he could take off his hat. Look, matey. I gotta go. See if there's some old togs in that bag of Dennis's in the shed. And give him a go, mate. He hasn't done any before. Why didn't you bring me Prince Philip? I tried to, mate, but she wouldn't let him be in it. Yeah. We change over here. I will remember. I, I'll bring my working talk next time, if you're still here. You look a bit lardy dar to me for this kind of game. Where do you come from? No, oh, Italy. You don't look like an eye tie to me. More like a Jerry. What is a Jerry, please? A hung, a German. Or something that goes under a bed. High ties are not much better. Do you know Italians? Oh, I do. I was a prisoner of war there. Oh! You've been captured by our soldiers in North Africa because my father was captain in North Africa. Captured by your mob? Don't you know the Tom Tits. You white eyes couldn't catch a bloody grasshopper. No, Jerry's got me, mate, coming out of Greece. It's like the destroyer I was on. Oh. Is your old man still kicking? I beg your pardon? Your old man, your padre. Is he morto yet? No, no, no. Your father is morto. Parli no, italiano? No, 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 no. Don't speak your lingo. Oh. Mate. Just picked up enough, like uh, Dove Bar, Batchami. Batchami. Learning from a Sheila. Uh, what is a Sheila, please? A Sheila, a bint. A regatta. Oh. Not bad Sheila's in your country, I'll say that for you. Got in at your place? Uh, no. No sister in my family. Oh, uh, I have only eight brothers. You call that only? Put this on, the son's gonna be a bastard. How do I look? I don't give a bugger how you look. Come on. What do you have first? Medic or the shovel? I will do whatever you say. Uh, I'll start digging. You come behind me and shovel it out.
Roll yourself a smoke, matey. I'm sorry, but I can't make cigarettes. Yeah, smoke tail of maize, do you? next door is a Chinaman. Oh, a Chinese man. Yeah. He doesn't like dirt in his backyard. Oh, does he not? No. So don't chuck it so bloody far. Oh, very good. Save your strength. Can't need chucking dirt all over the block. Pile it up near the trench. How about having a go on the matic? You wish me to dig? Mm-hmm. I wish you to dig. Can I... Uh, can I start here? No, no, no. You start way down there. You always dig uphill. Up the hill.
You haven't shoveled the soil. Plenty of time, mate. Take milk and sugar. Please. But I think you should have shoveled the soil. It'll keep. Here, get this into you. Have another. Yes, thank you. Know what I reckon? Now, what do you reckon? I reckon you'll conk out about lunchtime. Bust a gut. By lunchtime, you'll have had it. Am I not good? Wouldn't say that, matey. You want to take it easy. You're too fast. I'm too fast? Yeah, take it easy. No sense in busting yourself. Come on. I'll get that lot out, and you can take the shovel to lunchtime. I can take the mattock. I know. You take the shovel. What about a drink? A brilliant piece of thinking, mate. I'm as dry as a dehydrated potato. One day I'll buy one of them things and I won't need you moody bastards. Cost you more than us, mate, and it won't go and have a beer with you. It'll drink your oil and petrol till you go bankrupt. One of Harry Kelly's gimmicks. Putting up that bloody big building at Bankstown. Kelly and partners. Partners. How'd you be with your missus and daughters? Partners, eh? They have their office in King's Bloody Cross. How do you bloody know? Of course he bloody lives there. Hey, wait till you see old Larry's daughter. Keep your mind on your own.
Hello? Hello? May I please speak with Miss Kelly? This is her mother. Kay's gone to Bondi Beach. Oh, the beach. Very good. It's a very hot day today. Can I give her a message? Um, no, thank you. Um, perhaps I'll go myself to this Bondi Beach and I'll, I'll try to find her. Uh, excuse me for the trouble. If you find Kay, tell her that her lawyer phoned about that sports editor. Thank you. Goodbye. again. Dangerous those rips are? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I did not know. Well, just stay between the flags in the future. Everything clear now? Yes. Everything clear now. Good, and tell all your new Australian mates, will you? They're a bloody nuisance. I have no new Australian mates. I've been only two days in Sydney. Okay, see you around. See you around. Hello, Miss Kelly. I've been looking for you. On Lord Howe Island. Uh, Miss Kay, I wish to ask you a favor. Uh, 
Could you give me the permission to sleep in my cousin's office until I find for myself a room? No. Come oh. on, Dixie. Uh, uh, excuse me a moment. I have something for you. My first down payment of 30 shillings. I have a job. Next Saturday, I pay down more. Yours faithfully, Nino Culotta. Are you ready, Kay? Not quite. P.S. There is 10 shillings for the room. bella della nostra. È solo cinque anni che siamo qui. Loro da dieci. Domenica torniamo ancora a trovarli? Sì, ci hanno invitato per barbecue. Barbecue, mamma. Un'altra domenica come questa. A me mi lascia da casa. Ah, la principessa... Sei annoiata? Io no. Sfido, quando una canta dodici canzoni di seguito non ha il tempo di annoiarsi. Possibile che non vada mai bene niente. Ma sai che ti dico? Avanti, avanti con la predica. Calma, calma. Ah, why don't you go back to your own bloody country? Bloody dagos. Come out of here. Take your job. Make your own joint. Why don't you go back to your own bloody country? Saturday night drunk. Come with this bloody country. It's full of dagos. Don't want to speak English. That's all I do. Yabba, yabba, yabba. Why do they allow these people on public transport? Come along. What are you talking about? Nobody knows. Dago spies, a whole bloody lot of you. Mussolini! Castor oil! <laughs> the Mafia! <laughs> the Vatican City! It's full of commas! Bloody joint was never any good anyway. Ah, there you are, son. I thought you'd left us. Guess I like me pipe, mate. Get off the bloody ferry. It's our ferry, not your ferry. I'll lot of you. Uh, no, signore, guardi, sia tranquillo, stia seduto. È ubriaco, ma non è pericoloso. Ci sto attento io. a light for me pipe, mate. Parlez-vous français? No. Speak of the Deutsch? No. Uh, return my message, please. Thank you. Man doesn't know who's what. Now he speaks English. Man's country's not his own anymore. I fought for this country, didn't I? Now we're gonna fight to keep it. Who's left to fight? Only me. All of the old bloody country and only me. Well, I'll fight him on me Pat Malone. And I'll stab with this mob over here. Chuck him in the drink. 
I said, chuck him in the drink wall! Drum sober, boys! You again? Drunk this time. No, I'm not drunk. He's drunk. I... Friend of yours, is he? No, I don't know him. He was in the ferry, then he was in the water. You left him there. Where are you going? Uh, I have to go in King's Bloody Cross. Where? King's, uh, King's Bloody Cross. Are you fair dinkum? No, I'm Italian. Who told you that was his name? A uh, taxi driver. Let me go! <laughs> Dirty coppers! Bloody spies! Give us a light for me, pipe mate. Look, just keep the bloody out of it. That's a swear word in this country. The name's King's Cross. Oh, I understand. Thank you. Keep out of trouble. You reckon you can handle the metal, Nino? I think so, but where's the metal? You're standing in it. Bloody blue metal. This little stone, he's a bastard on a hot day.
you go, Nina. All right, mate? All right, mate. Oh, yes. Hey. Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Never polish those boots, Nino. Oh. Grease the bastard. Martin Fats the best. Keeps them soft. Oh. You rub it into your head every night, Joe? Well, what would I want to do that for? Something's keeping it soft. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. How you going, Nino? All right? All right, mate. Jimmy's moving into his own house. Getting married. That'll leave his room empty at our place. How'd you like to move in? It's very kind of you, Joe. But it'd be right with Mrs. Joe. Oh, well, he can use the extra dough. Four quid a week. And she'll cut your lunch like she does now for Jimmy, OK? OK, thank you, Joe. Wacko! Chapman. Good morning. What are you doing in the office that day morning? It's about your money, Mrs. Chapman. Ah, oh, you shouldn't have come in just for that. You've forgotten it before. Your money hasn't been forgotten, Mrs. Chapman. Wasn't under the novelty this morning. Quite right, it wasn't. I checked your timesheet last night. You're overcharging the firm. Me? That'll be the day. What's this? Oh, that. That's the bloke downstairs. The what? Sports editor, you know. But he said this morning he was moving out again. Right. Open the front, mate, and let's get cracking. All right, mate? You're going to pay me for last week. Of course. Here. The money for downstairs you'll get next Saturday. And you don't have to clean there anymore. All right. He gave me a letter. I put it on the table. Here it is. Five pounds, the down payment. You are faithful in Nino Culotta. Three pounds, ten shillings for sleeping in your place, seven nights. Textures up. Oh. Like this, see? I understand. Thank you. Right. New Australian. Yeah. Reckon he'll ever learn? He'll learn a bloody sight faster than you, will you, Dill? What do you mean? Well, you can't handle Texas. You shouldn't be carting them. You break up the bastards. What do you want me to do? Handle them two at a time? Like there was eggs, like your lame brain mate. Listen. Say one more word about my lame brain mate, and I'm gonna grind this right into your dial. 
All right, all right. No need to get shirty. Just lay off, understand? Yeah, yeah, all right. Right. It's the heat. Gets them all like that. Dennis, it was not necessary. The fighting. I was not insulted. When I'm insulted, I fight for myself. I know that, mate. <laughs> Did you copy his face? <laughs> Watching the mix we're pouring. We're paying for it. You hope. Come in, Kay. Give me a minute, Dad. Any complaints, sir? Oh, the usual. Are we on schedule? More or less. Kay. Yes. Got some cash for you. What cash? What well, that bloke says he owes you. Oh, no. You shouldn't have taken it, Sam. We're getting an eviction order on Monday. Well, was I to know? He was with Joe. No, I can find him. Who? Joe? That I tie? That I tie. Suppose he's with Joe. Over there. Excuse us. tell you? You did. If I could return his money before Monday, or reasons at the law court on Monday. Is that what you dragged me here for? Mm-hmm. You're crazy. Am I? Mamma, papa, c'è un signore italiano del Terry. Come si chiama? Nino, Nino Culotta. Ma dove... E Nino ha detto qualcosa? Oh, how did you know? Italians are wolves. He's Italian. Come va? Come va? Come sta? Zup, my chancellor. My chancellor. Mamma. He is a wolf. Let's go. What about his money? I'll ask Orion to send it by special messenger. I thought you didn't have the address. I can get it from Sam, the foreman. Come on. Excuse me, um, Miss Kelly has gone. She is returning. No, I wish to speak with her. Why don't you come back tomorrow? It's Sunday. Same place. Same time. Thank you, Miss um, Dixie. Miss Dixie, but I have an engagement on Sunday. Hey, Ray! Hey, Ray! Hey, Ray! Hey, Tommy, had a hammer in your hand when you went to 
Bloody Malga. Thank you for coming to help Nino giving up your Sunday. It's a great pleasure for me, Betty. Pleasure, me foot. He knows we'll give him a hand to build a house in his bloody Itai country. money that my cousin Leonardo owed to the palace? Yeah. First, she threatens me with her lawyer. Now her lawyer sends me back everything I paid her. Good on him. Do we get tea tonight, Edie? Hey, Ed. George or Riordan's son. And or Riordan. George or Riordan's son. Any of them. Solicitors. Mr. Giovanni with one N again. Giovanni. Culotta. Care of Joe Kennedy. Dear Mr. Kulotta, Kelly and Partners, VU, we are instructed that our client has received from you certain sums of money that are not accepted in respect of the above eject ejectment proceedings. Yeah. Ejectment proceedings. Accordingly, we return the same herewith and inform you that any subsequent amounts will be accepted by our client only upon the basis that they are without prejudice to our client's rights under the notice to quit already served upon you. Yours faithfully, George O'Reardon and son, and Irving. O'Reardons. Drink up, mate.
No cutting the grass today, love. You should have cut it last weekend. Nino? Yes, Joe? You all right, man? Right, Joe. Nino, for goodness sake, sit down. Keep smudging my nails. Joe. Hmm? I think I'm going to get married. Good on you, mate. Nino, I'd no idea. Who is she? Dark horse, the old Nina. I don't know. I haven't seen her for some time. Oh, I thought you meant soon. It will be soon. Perhaps. Would you like some cheese? Mm -hmm. Look, the manageress. That's the girl. The one that was with Nino Collato on the beach. Don't you remember? Did you ever hear of him? No. Heard of Leonardo. Oh, that's not her. She was shorter. She's wearing high heels. Leonardo's in Canada. It's definitely not her. What's he doing in Canada? I wouldn't know. Sent his letter straight on to my lawyer. Unopened. Well, didn't he open them? There were some post-dated checks to pay off his debt. You see? They'll bounce. Ah. Nino! Finalmente ti fai rivedere. Io credevo che ci avessi dimenticato. Sempre quegli occhi meravigliosi. Permetti? Permetto. There's proof for you. Beautiful. <laughs> Ho una bellissima cosa da dire. Anche io. Bye. Oh. È molto bello. E lui com'è? Ancora più bello. Eh? Ma non mi fai gli auguri? Ah, già. L'avevo già preparata. Già pronta. Oh, grazie. Auguri. A father must have a shotgun. <laughs> Ah, scusa un momento. E vai lì al tuo solito tavolo. Come oh, don't look now. 
Excuse me, but you can't eat spaghetti with a spoon. Miss Dixie, Miss Kate, may I sit? We're going in a minute. Gino. Non è bello? Oh. È un po' timido perché fa il cuoco, ma è laureato, è ingegnere. Is he going to be best man? No. I'm going to be best man. Aren't you sorry? Yes, I am sorry. I was a little too late. <clears throat> what a shame. Are you going to stay in Australia for good, Nino? I have not made up my mind. Perhaps I might. But I, I'd like to learn something more about bricks and building houses. Kay could give you lessons in that. I... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, but I have good teachers. Whatever is the chosen profession of a man, experience gained on other fields can always be useful. So said Leonardo. Doesn't sound like him. Oh, not Leonardo Culotta. It was Leonardo da Vinci who said that. It must be Charlie. He can't pop. What has poor Leonardo done to you? Poor Leonardo is a con man. It is Charlie. He's getting frantic. I'll pay the bill. See you downstairs. Why don't you come with us? Bowling. I'm sorry, but I don't think that Charlie would like it. Would you bring me the bill, please? Um, why you, you say Leonardo is, um, what you said? He said he was getting part of the money from his uncle after his uncle had turned him down. How did you find out? I found the letter. How could you understand it? It was in Italian. My solicitor had it translated. Mm, somebody else's private letter. I'm a member of my father's firm. I, I'm expected to look after the firm's interest. You made him run away. You killed the magazine. You're a woman. But you're not womanly. You are manly. You're very correct in your business. But I think you've never been late for a business conference because you have been to a coiffeur. My father would like that, wouldn't he? The other man would. Perhaps in Italy. Not perhaps, certainly. Excuse me a moment. You know that my cousin Leonardo is starting a new magazine in Canada? Who is he conning this time? Just a minute. He got the money from his uncle. He writes he's paying back all his debts to you. Shh! How many uncles do you think Leonardo has? Five. You read the letter of one. I have three uncles. One says no, the other says yes. My son will have eight uncles. Auguri! Don't be silly. I'm not silly. I have eight brothers that makes eight uncles. And not only in Italy, in Australia too. They're not far away. They'll be back in a minute. You know, Leonardo, for me, is a, is a guardian angel. Without him, I... I wouldn't be here. Are you coming next Friday? Ernesto's giving a party for them. For the chef and his fiancé. I thought he had invited you. Aren't you the landlord for Ernesto? Sorry. Oh. I invite you. Sorry, our crowd is a standing date on Fridays. Oh. Goodbye now. Goodbye. Ciao. She's not here. A woman is just a woman, but a good sirloin is a steak. Rare. Thank you, Chick. I'll wait. Mrs. Friday's.
There is some business matter I have to talk to her. This is no time to talk about business. I know. But it's getting late. And I think I'll go. I have to go. Go? <laughs> she was clean. <laughs> Hi, Nino. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing with my girl? We come to challenge the champ. Okay, Nino? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what game are you playing, Nino? Soccer. Uh, soccer's a lousy game. <laughs> Only Dills play soccer. What is a Dill? Uh, Italians are Dills. I am rapidly approaching the stage where I've had you. So pull in your skull. <laughs> <laughs> while, while it's still stuck to your neck. Oh, no, you two. Kiss and make up. Hey, Dixie. Uh. Are you looking for a thick ear? You would only last two minutes. They would have to call the fire brigade to come and shift you. And besides, it is not gentlemanly fight in front of a lady. That's easy fixed. Over here. Hey, Charlie. Dixie, telephone. <laughs> Play off her, Nino. I'm in K, not Dixie. You're wasting your time. She doesn't know whether she's coming or going. Her father brought her up that way. She cares for nothing but building and sports. She's as hard as nails. But I'm interested in sports and in building. Yes. Old Harry thinks sports writers are parasites, that brickies get twice the money they're worth, and Italians stink. Oh. Oh. Yes, he's here. He's been waiting for you for over an hour. Oh, he's here now. Okay. I'm here. And I'm here. Why aren't you? Please wait. Tell them you're waiting for me. But I can't stay. It's a private party. No, please wait. She's at Ernesto. Come on. <laughs> Ciao. That's right, Nina. They're all alike in the dark. C'era la canasta dischi o scacchi per giocare. La vita è bella, sì, l'amore, il sentimento. E pur qualcosa manca. No. Qui yes. manca il no. Because there is a. Oh, it's you, signor Colatoletto. Idea! Se i maccheroni si condiscono col calcio, condiamo anche la vita? Che c'è meglio? Me lo bacio. You were going to cut the grass this weekend. She will okay for another week. It's nearly up to my knees now. I won't be able to find the clothesline soon. I'll lend you a compass. Hey! Don't worry about it, love. I'll cut it next weekend for sure. That's what you said last weekend. All right, all right. Well, I've got to look out for me now. Who wants to see how shooting's done in Australia? That's right. Blame it on Nino. Of course, you don't want to go shooting, do you? Not particularly. I'd sooner cut the grass. I can't let Nino go by himself, but he might get lost. Nino! Mm. Nino! Mm. Seems like to have been a beaut party, mate. 
Joe, I'm sorry I'm not coming to shooting today. Jeez, Nina. I don't know why, is she? About time. The building inspector's waiting for her. He's boiling. She never been late before. Who's calling? Vaporizi. Say that again. Vaporizi in the air, stylist. Ah, oh, you're joking. Kelly. Lovely morning. Sorry to have kept you waiting, Mr. Bellinger. Well, that's a pretty woman's privilege, Miss Kay. I've never seen that hairdo before. Well, that's what kept me late. Oh, it was worth it. Every minute of it. <laughs> from me. Listen, just a bit of it. The plain truth is, Oh, shut up, Pat. Women don't want to know the truth. How you going, Nina? All right, mate. That's all we got between the three of us. Oh, I said he was there banging away. Bloody queues outside every cafe. Mate, we got inside. There was nothing left to eat. All right. I was expecting it. Beauty. <laughs> Neither? I've been to the beach this morning. I've been pouring the whole bloody day where we've been. Well, on the beach all day. <laughs> Not on day, Joe. Haven't been chasing any dames, have you? What else, Nina? Uh, then I went to the shipping office. Oh, well, you ought to have your head examined, my old rascal. I bought this. I hope your stateroom smells of dead rats, you old rascal. <laughs> This isn't a ticket. He's bought a bloody block of land. Jimmy, hurry, Jimmy. They're there. Yeah. Where are your glasses, Jimmy? Oh, I'll let him to Joe. Well, phone him. They haven't had a look at her either. Joe's cut the grass for Edie. Well, phone him. <laughs> where I shall build, right here, on the side of a hill hanging over the sea. Concrete slabs, cantilevered. Mm -hmm. Garage and workshop on top. Yeah. Drive right in. And go downstairs to bed. Uh, I'll have an outside staircase. Living room and kitchen below the bedroom. See? Uh, big picture windows? Mm, they'll have to be plate glass. Southerly blows. It'll take you a year or more. 
Oh, there is water. There is electricity. They are building a road. And Pat and Dennis and Jimmy and Joe, they're gonna help. Even though they think that any girl who wants to marry one of their mates must be a chiseler. I can live in a tent while I build. If she falls for that, she's no chiseler. There's good fishing off the point. Dad's a keen rock fisherman. I've been there with him Sundays. An old Australian used to bring his sons to fish here. Look, he drew pictures for them at the rock. Let him fish. Where oh, is she? Oh, you missed her. Ah. When did she leave? Oh, about five minutes ago. OK, Jimmy, What's get going your tie on? off. We might as well cut the bloody mug while we're in the mood. Do you see her, Betty? From the back. How bad from the back? What does she look like? Tolls. Yeah. Red hair, bud. Uh, I better change my togs, Betty. You better. <laughs> She's okay. As Leonardo once said on a Tuscan shore, you don't have to drown to be kissed by a lifesaver. I must read up on this Leonardo da Vinci. Was Leonardo da Vinci. Was Leonardo Culotta. Did you, uh, tell her about living in a tent? Yes. Jeez, she must have it bad. And you'll see her parents tonight? Mm-hmm. Good oh. luck, Nina. Thank you, Edie. Oh, uh... Got the flowers for the mother? No, I will buy some. Oh, very important. Ah, uh, take a bow in front of the old lady. Very deep. And then you say, beautiful flowers for a beautiful lady. And then you kiss her hand. And then you hit her over the head with the flowers and say to hell with all mothers-in-law, workers in the world, unite! Hey, hup. I will do this, Dennis. Do you want me to run you over, mate? No, I'll take a bus. Dad's all done up, too. Flowers, Nino. For your mother. Oh, she loved them. Scared? Not now. Dennis told me what to do. Here he is. Uh, how do you do? To me? They are lovely. Do come inside. He's been waiting in the lounge like a child on hot bricks. He smoked a whole packet of cigarettes since lunch. Dad, here's Nino. 
he brought me some flowers. Aren't they gorgeous? Glad to know you. Sit down. I've heard quite a lot about you. And I've heard quite a lot about you too, sir. I know you're a builder. You think writers are all parasites. You don't like bricklayers. And you can't stand Italians. And I'm a writer, and a bricklayer, and I'm an Italian. And I'm going to marry your daughter. Wow. Well, I think I'll just put these flowers in water. I'll help you. And stay in the kitchen. You seem pretty sure of yourself, don't you? Yes. Uh, Kay seems to think a lot of you. I think a lot of Kay. You hurt her in any way at all and I'll break your bloody neck. If I'll hurt her in any way, I'll deserve it. Uh, what sort of writing do you do? I wrote for an Italian paper in a town called Como. Never heard of it. Now I lay bricks. Heard of that? Mug's game. My daughter can do better than marry a bricky. Your wife married a bricky. True. Uh, September, she tells me. Yes. Got a house? No, but <clears throat> I have a land and I'm going to build a house in. Not by September, you won't. No, but we will live in a tent until it is built. In a tent? Hmm. So what are you proposing to do? Dump my daughter on a, on a bit of land and, and build a house around her? Yes. Not if I can stop you. You can't. There you go, aren't you? I'm an Italian, sir. There you go. Bit bigger than most, but a day go just the same. You have one on your wall, in the place of honor. The Pope? If I'm a Dago, so is he. Hey, do you think we'll ever have an Australian Pope? <coughs> it's possible. If Kay has a son, perhaps it will be the first. Ah, she'll have a daughter. Get on to that. Runs in the family. Not in my family. You ever heard of a pope born in a tent? Christ was born in a stable. You're going to stay a bricky all your life? Perhaps. In a new country, a man can be whatever he likes. You're right about that. Think you might take up building? I might. Well, that's a hard game. Still, I could give you a few hints that might save you a lot of headaches. I will remember that, sir. Thank you. Oh, now, look, there's no need for you to call me, sir, son. Uh, what about a drop of whiskey? Sort of uh, celebrate the occasion, eh? I, I think I'll do with a drop of whiskey. By crack, so could I. Mama! Kay! Bring us some scones. Why don't you take your coat and tie off? Getting a bit hot in here. How do you like it? No, we want it. So do I. Just getting acquainted takes it out of you. More tea? No, thanks. Colder than usual for this time of the year? Yeah, uh, probably it'll get colder next month. I bet you have, there will uh, probably be a frost in the morning. <laughs> yeah. One? 
August, the worst month for winds. How's that building of yours getting on? Not too bad. Big job. It is. Build, building's a cow job this weather. You said it, mate. Have some more tea? No, thanks. No, no more tea? No, thanks. Betty passed the Lemmingtons. Nina and Kay are getting married in September. Well, that'll be nice. Bring out the bloody beer! Getting a decent bastard, too. It's a big, big country with a big, big heart. Life is sweet and easy. You feel it from the Bloody right.